up guys welcome back to the channel so today I'm actually gonna be prepping my car for the drive up to Fresno California in two days uh, today is a Friday so we are heading up to Weenie Fest up in Fresno for Sunday it's gonna be a five-hour drive from San Diego we're planning on leaving San Diego around like three or four o'clock in the morning it's gonna be me and a couple people cruising up so I'm gonna try to vlog as much as I can and I don't know if you guys noticed but I did switch cameras um, the other camera that I was using or I've been recording recently I just didn't like how I didn't focus sometimes it, it just bugged me and it was actually this right here it was the Canon G7X so like it wouldn't focus as much it, it would just piss me off because um, yeah it just didn't want to focus sometimes so I picked up a new camera and this is the new camera so it's a lot wider which is good because this one's a fixed lens well camera um forgot so it's pretty zoomed in and this one's a lot wider as you guys can see and i just need to go pick up an extra memory card for this camera because i don't know where all my memory cards went i have one in this one and i just don't know where all my memory cards went because i switched back to a dslr because it just has better options for lenses and recording voices is a lot better which is how this one sounds. I need to load up a spear because we are driving pretty far and you're never gonna know when you're gonna need a spear. And I did actually just install these. These are uh, the home development pedals. Um, this one's extended. Let me just insert a quick clip of uh, how I install these right here. Today we are gonna be installing some new interior pieces to the car. Um, home development's out in Australia. I forgot we're in Australia, but an Australia reached out to me. They said uh, they wanted me to try out their new uh, products that they just released. Um, so let's start off with the shift knob. They sent me out a shift knob. This is made out of like Duraline or Duralin. I, I don't know how to say it. But it's a cool shift knob because it won't get hot or it won't get cold. So when it's really hot outside, it won't get hot. And when it's really cold outside, it won't get cold. The next thing is... They made these little cup holders. Um, all those little Japanese stores that you go to, they have all these cup holders for cars that don't have cup holders. And this part will work better in EK because the cup holders that came factory in this car, they just, the drinks just fly everywhere. And uh, they sell this as a whole kit. So you buy the, what is it, the pedal set and it comes with a shift knob and a little cup holder. So, yep. We're gonna slap that in after we do the pedals. The main thing I'm really, really excited about is the pedals. Okay, clutch pedal, brake pedal, gas pedal. The cool thing about the gas pedal is it's a lot bigger, of course, than the EKs. The EKs are roughly this size, but um, how they have this little notch is for when you heel toe, it's, it's just a lot easier. And also this brake pedal, you can see that it has um, a wider, uh, was it, mounting area. So like you could slide it closer to the gas pedal. So you get a uh, heel toe a lot better. Uh, you guys don't know home developments. They do a lot of prototyping and researching before they release all these products. Especially, uh, well, they have a lot of cool stuff. They have, was a brake caliper kit upgrade. So you can use Porsche calipers on your car. And they have a lot of suspension geometry parts for um, the Honda chassis. So Integras and Civics. So you guys should look into their site. I'll link their site down below and take a look. They have a lot, a lot of cool stuff, and there's actually a couple of people over here in the U.S. running, running their stuff, um, especially like their tie rods and their lower ball joints and everything. And this right here is, these are spacers. So you could rise up the gas pedal closer to you. Um, well, you could bring the gas pedal closer to you if the gas pedal is too far from you. And yeah, instructions. They got their instructions on their website. We'll probably pull that up on my phone and get to install on these. The shift knob, uh, you just twist it on and this is, goes on your vent. So we'll mess with that after. First thing I need to do is the easiest, actually the easiest thing that I should be doing is why is this damn camera not focusing? The first thing I should be doing is actually taking out these seats. It'll be a lot easier for me to reach the pedals. And I don't have sliders so my, my seats don't slide back. And I'm gonna take off my Mugen pedals, the ones I got from Japan. I already sold them, I sold them to my friend. That seat's out. Here's the thing I have, or the issue that I have with my pedals. My pedals, wow, that one got really dirty. Um, you can see how my gas pedal is to the, like steering to the left a bit. It's because um, the previous owner that owned this car, he had ITBs and I did too. So what he did was perfect. What he did was he bent the pedal upwards, and then when he did that, it like 
slanted to the right. So I am actually looking for a new pedal set. Uh, I'm just waiting for a good clean one to pop up and then uh, pick it up and then uh, swap the pedals over. But for now, we're still gonna take these off and yeah, I, I should clean that one. That thing got really, really dirty. Now I guess down to install the pedals. They're 169 USD and they're really nice quality. They're CNC to aluminum, uh, you know, uh, cheap like 3D printed stuff. Uh, plastic or whatever, but uh, let's see what we want to manuals. Yeah, you can see so like they have air guides This is direct airflow to your rotors or and your pretty much your brakes um, Splitter bracket This is what I was talking about you can mount Porsche uh, caliper bracket or calipers to your car Brake boosted the elite tie rods you can See spherical Rear camera arms really they have really nice cool things and there we go so this is what we need. Really, really nice detailed instructions. So, oh, okay, let's see. Okay, well, um, I don't think I need to show you guys this. So you guys can check it out if you guys do buy a set of these. So I'm gonna just go through this and install them. Got one in, and you can see the pedals are pretty, uh, pretty banged up because they had like three or four different sets of pedals on this car. So that's why I do need a new pedal set, but. They uh, they use self-tapping screws for right here, and you know, all you have to do is drill a small hole, and then just screw it in by hand. These little guys, and these ones are for the um, spacer. So I don't know if I'm gonna be using this, but we'll see. I'm just gonna put the pedal on first, and uh, see how I like it uh, with or without it. Well, I got the brake pedal on, and you can see. You can adjust it. So further from the gas pedal or closer to the gas pedal. It's not that much, but once we get this on, and yes, I know that pedal is beat up, but um, don't look at me. Like that. And then we, we can move our side too if we wanted to. So it looks like you have to install that base plate first. What you do after is apply the pedal. Cause I was like, why is the pedal flat and it won't mount? Yeah, just make sure when you mount that base plate, the two um, two bottom holes are on the bottom of the top one, or the single ones at the top. And these uh, spacers they give you, it just goes right behind it. So they just stack like that. And if you want to, you could do that. And they give you different lengths. I'm just put two on and see how I feel about it and uh yeah super simple easy install all right so i got the pedals installed don't mind all the shavings i'm gonna vacuum that up tomorrow since i am getting new carpets and a new kick panel tomorrow but yeah um it feels actually a lot better because the brake pedal is a lot bigger and i moved this one a little bit closer to me so when you heel tilt it's a uh, it's a lot easier and you can reach it so and now to take this off and see how I feel about the shift knob. One of the best shifters I've owned. Hmm. Not bad. Um, not my taste, but that's just my opinion. And I like a lot smaller shift knobs. I like pretty much small shift knobs because my hands are pretty small and um, yeah, but this is actually a lot easier to grab and reach for because it's a lot more chunkier. But yeah, check them out. Home developments for the pedals, the cup holder, and the shift knob. And double check all the fluids, of course. Um, I feel like, I mean, it's just, you always want to take extra precaution. You just, you just never know if, you know, anything can go wrong on a long drive because like I said, it is five hours. So it's always good to be safe than sorry. And someone's calling me. Yo, what's up? Hello? Hey, dear. All right, quick phone call. Anyways, um, I think, yeah, <laughs> you know what, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna be lazy. I'm just gonna double check out the lug nuts. Um, torque them down and then I'm gonna load up one of these I'll probably just load up um, the C28 just one of these um, just so we can have a matching you know spare I thought about putting these back on the eights and so I could um, 
and take out these seven halves. But I just bring one of those as a spare. Um, it sucks because I think everyone else that's going with this is not five lug. Well, minus Juan, but we tested this on his car and it does not fit at all. His car's way too low and can't turn. Uh, and I think that's it. So, yeah. Oh, okay, and here's another thing. I did pick up. Um, oh, where's the part number at? Can you see that? Wow, this camera's super nice. Uh, these are OEM floor mats for the car because currently I am running um, right hand drive. Because, okay, because currently I'm running right hand drive Japanese formats, so um, they don't sit as um, is it flush. You can see. So I actually need a vacuum that. That's all the metal shavings from when I install those pedals. So I'm gonna just vacuum all this and put the black ones in, and you can see how it has Civic on the right side because these are for right hand drive cars. The only cool thing, or the main reason why I actually bought these floor mats because the car didn't have it. And also, the um, G80 floor mats have the little centerpiece. So it goes over the little hump, which I really like. The US ones don't do that. But I'm going to sell them as a complete set because that's how they should be. But holy crap, I like this camera. It feels weird holding a heavy camera again. But yeah, I feel like... Uh, taking some uh, cinematics with this uh, camera. So let me just throw all these in there real quick. One thing I just realized is my LED lights cause some issues with the camera. It's so weird, like, check this out. I don't know if it's just me, but... You can see there's like lines on the screen, look. That is so trippy, I'm to turn it off. Close away. For those of you that wonder what right-hand drive floor mats look like, or JDM floor mats, the cool thing I've always liked about JDM, uh, like seeds or Japanese seeds and whatever, like EDM, is that like they're like there's like a confetti to them. There's not all one color. It's like mix of colors. It's like pink and blue. And it has that little centerpiece, which is held on by little buttons. And these ones right here are the U.S. ones, which. I am extremely happy about. You can still buy this brand new from Honda. Um, this right here is the bracket. If you don't have, was it this bracket on your carpet? They give you a new one. You can still buy this new from Honda. That little hoop goes right here and let me pull this out this little guy right here oh, i gotta cut that off and they say civic on them i think they only say it on the front yeah passenger side has it too so i'm gonna chop this off real quick and throw it in the car super happy in because <clears throat> let's see there's a little hook down here I'll show you guys right here so I just put this on the hook just like that <clears throat> uh, there we go that's so odd oh you know what hmm why is this gap here what if the panel is different from a hatch? Everything lines up perfectly though. Don't look at this because I need to get a new panel, but you know, it won't slide up when you're driving. Uh, I know the backs will fit for sure. Uh, that I don't have to worry about. Passenger side. Yeah, the passenger side fits super snug. Come on. Go up. Oops, sorry, so dark. Oh, the cool thing I actually like about um, what's it called? 
this camera is that the ISO range is ridiculous. It goes up to 400K. This is a, uh, I mean, those of you that don't really care about cameras. But oh, I actually put these stickers there because I just wanted to use it as, just to cover up the hole because that hole is pissing me off. But I actually did uh, come up on um, a new uh, set of, what is it called? Come on, focus. There we go. Oh, this one's super nice. So, let me just hold this off. And let me show you guys what I'm going to replace it with. Oh, come on. Leave it there for now. Oh, I actually might just put that on my spark plug cover. Okay. Um, this guy right here. I don't know if you guys uh, have seen this. I know a lot of you guys do know what this is, but if you guys don't know, this is a uh, EDM clock. It came on the European models. So yeah, it's a clock. That's what's going that hole. I said a uh, factory option, and it did come with the harness, which I'm super happy about. But I'm not going to connect it right now. I'm just going to be kind of lazy to throw it in there. Luckily, I... Oh, man. Luckily, I have this block off that will come off by hand. Just like that. And you see there's a little screw right here. Like these little two things, which... Screw right into these two holes. So it's gonna get a screw. It goes in like that. Bada bing, bada boom. So I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna take off this pigtail just so it doesn't fall off or anything, and just keep it um, on my desk. And then after Fresno, I'll probably um, was it get to wiring it up really easy. Just power and a ground wire. There's a memory wire on there um, and an illumination wire. But I don't believe we need you need both of those. I've installed one of these and I just did the power on the ground. So probably just do that. And yeah, sometimes just the little things. So I found some interior screws. They're like uh just like coarse threaded. And I got one in and luckily I have small hands. And then this one goes like right here at the edge. Alright, screwed in. Whew ain't going anywhere so um luckily the plug the pigtail or where the connection goes is right here on this side there we go nice and filled in now oh and believe it or not a lot of people be selling these radial block offs there's so much when you can still buy them brand new from honda so it's pretty funny so quick tip for you guys and these ones you can find these all over uh, eBay. So that's said and done. Oops, forgot I put the passenger or the rear formats in. I'll do that in a bit. This one, I don't want the sticker to go to waste. So we're just gonna see if I can peel um, this one off. There we go. Save the sticker. I don't want to put it on here because if it gets hot, if it gets hot, it's going to be a pain in the ass to take off. So we'll just do it on the, do the spark plug cover. Perfect side sticker. I think they still have these for sale, so check out their site. Crap, that straight. There we go. On the... Uh, was it Juan? When he makes a bunch of these, they're all um, they're super cool because they are a bit of like a of a throwback to um, what's it called? Certain companies. This is based off of Feels. Can you guys see it a little bit? And they got some in here too. Uh, let's see this one. The Honda Twin Cam. So, cool, cool. I always got to support the boys in it since day one. So, yep. Um, check oil. 
don't know. I feel like this videos are over the place because I'm testing out this camera right here. Uh, I'm just trying to see how it is, and so far I actually like it. If it was out of focus like earlier, it was probably because I didn't set up the focus settings correctly. But now we are uh, good to go. And I'm just gonna throw one of these guys in the car. Um, yeah, so let me grab one. So, throw this in the trunk. And here's actually a quick comparison between the two before I put it in the car. These are concave. These are flat phase, convex. 16, 7 half 30, 16 by 8, 28. All right, cool. Let's see where I go from here. We got some EVC green stuff pads for ITR calipers, um, Pregula calipers, all that. Because me and my brother went to the junkyard the other day and we actually came up on some ITR calipers at the junkyard. Um, well, they are really ITR, but they are the same exact as the ITR caliper. These are off of a Hunter Prelude. They're painted blue because the previous owner painted it blue, I don't know why. And we're just gonna clean these up, paint them, get new boots, get new pins, um, maybe rebuild the piston if it needs to, but it looks like there's no leak, so it's good. Really need some heavy cleaning though. You can see 23T, that's the bracket that you need for um, running these calipers on spindles or on the EX SI spindles or Integra DC on um, spindles, knuckles. I'm gonna have a full video on that and I'm so glad I got this camera because this camera I actually just like, what is it called? I legit could just set it down and um, I'm happy. My other camera can't really sit down, it just falls over. Just a quick little update. I will have a video of us going up to Weenie Fest, uh, cruising up there because yeah, it's gonna be a really, really, really fun trip. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, so, I'm probably just gonna end this video now. So, hope you guys like that little install of the home development pedals. Uh, cleaning up the interior a little bit, because honestly, everybody loves a clean interior, because you're always sitting in it. And now, it just looks more complete. You know, I got the clock right there now. And then, yeah, floor mats. And it's weird, I just realized that uh, the coupe floor mats are different. You can see kind of angled, so. That's new to me. I thought the coops and the hatches were the same, but I guess not. Anyways guys, don't this other, just keep building. And uh, yeah, I guess an update video, clean up the interior, driving up to Weenie Fest, Fresno. All right guys, have a good day. Peace out.